Hey y'all, it's your girl, Renata Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing my version of a classic Christmas makeup look. So let's get started. First up, skin prep. I always do skin prep. Skin prep is very important to me. I'm sure it's different for, every diff for everybody's skin type, but for me, this is what I do. I start off with a primer for my lids. I'm using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer. My, my lids get oily um, often, so I always use a primer for my lids no matter what. And then I go in with a moisturizer. I'm using the um, Deep Hydration Cream by Fresh. I believe it's their Rose line. Now I'm gonna be applying Skin Glass. I usually apply it on my skin, but today I'm gonna mix it into my foundation. And the foundation that I'm using today is the Fenty Beauty Foundation um, in the shades 330 and 390. I am mixing the two together and mainly using that mixture um, on the outer perimeter of my face and then I use 330 in my t-zone more so and then in those dark spots I will use the 390 since it has like more of an orange undertone it helps to color correct without me having to pull out a corrector now mixing the skin glass in with the foundation I probably won't do that again I just don't I don't know I don't like the consistency it seems to change the foundation the consistency of the foundation a bit and also I like to I like to control where I put my illuminator or highlighter versus it being all over my face and as I said before I go in with that 390 to um, color correct those dark spots and build up coverage So we're working out of the Urban Decay Naked uh, Honey Palette today. I'm first going in with the shade Amber, which is this really pretty shimmer. Yeah, see, like it's this really pretty shimmer. I apply it all over the lid and above my crease. Now we are going in with the shade Drip on a fluffy blending brush to um, blend that out in what some call a transition color. Then I go in with a more compact um, brush and put that same shade on my lower lash line as well. Now I'm going in the shade Sting with a fluffy brush again and just tapping that color on the outer V. I didn't want it to be too deep, but I did want it to, I did want to darken it up a little bit. So I'm just tapping it a little bit of that darker brown shade on the outer V and going in, um, putting some of that on my lower lash line as well. And then I go in with a clean fluffy brush just to blend everything together so there are no harsh lines. Now onto brows, I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the shade Dark Brown. And I am using the Wet n Wild H2O Proof Liquid Liner, keeping that very close to my lash line since I have a hooded eye. And I'm applying just a little bit of the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Caramel, I believe, and I'm just blending that out with a um, eyeshadow brush. And now to set my whole T-zone, I am going in my favorite powder, which is the AJ Crimson Loose Powder, and I am just um, pushing that, pressing that into the skin with my Beauty Blender. Um, don't forget to check out the description box. I have a link where you guys can check out some of his amazing products. So to contour, I'm using my AJ Crimson Foundation in the number five, and I'm placing that where I want it to be, and then I'm going to Blend it all out with my Beauty Blender. Now I'm applying my Faithful Lashes um, in the style Gentleness. And I'm now applying mascara to my bottom lashes. Um, this is my, this is a Benefit mascara, their real mascara. I love the wand on this mascara. Uh, now I'm going into my Beauty Bakery Coffee and Cocoa Palette. I use the shade Antidepresso. I love this shade. It's this. I have I have this uh, shade also in a Lorac palette, but I like to apply the shade in my um, bottom lash line to add some depth without having to use um, eyeliner. But it gives like a softer, darker effect. So yeah, I like to use that. And then I'm using La Vida Mocha. 
um, for blush is this really pretty orange, red orange shade. Then I'm using the highlighter of that palette as well called Your Grounded and apply that. Now I'm lining my lips with a red lip liner and for the lipstick I'm using a liquid matte lipstick by the Glamour called Cherry Balm. And y'all don't forget to check out the description box. I do have a code there for the Glamour Tour where you can get some coins off your purchase. And here is the finished look. This is my take on a classic holiday or Christmas makeup look. You have your gold, you have your red. Of course, you always need a red lip. That's like a staple in like holiday makeup things. But yeah, you're looking glowy. You have that gold going on. It's not too much. You feel pretty. You got your glam going on with your lashes and all that. Giving it to them but it's still not too much, very clean, very lightweight. I absolutely love this look, very pretty. I hope you guys try this out. I hope it works out for you guys. And yeah, let me know. Tag me your things on Instagram, your pictures, so I can see your take on a, hol on a classic holiday or Christmas look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do not forget to like this video and subscribe if you have not already. And I will see y'all next week on another video. Bye.